coming, this is my, uh, one of my assistant directors, Amy, taking pictures of me, which is kind of awkward, but it was weird to think about how this is the fifth year, and he was jumping, he was like, dude, we're gonna like, get a cake or something, it's five years, and, uh, but it just shows that volleyball is a passionate sport in the state of Illinois, and that every year after year after year, you have great coaches like this that are willing to coach, you have the best players in the state, I mean, when I look back on now, and I still try to keep in touch with some of the players and families, but you have national champions at the NCAA level that played in this game. You have, you know, yesterday a few players that played for Wisconsin. They won the Big Ten Championship, and it, and it started here. And I appreciate it too because also, as you know, the money you donated at the door went to breast cancer awareness from the American Cancer Society. It's something that my family's dealt with, so it's a, it's something to keep in mind. That it, it's something that always is there. It's not just that month of October when we were pink too. And, you know, we have a lot of great coaches, we have a lot of great players out here today. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, this is, you see some of the uh, banners up, this is brought to you by the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. So, it is a 10-month college program, so to learn to be a broadcaster, radio, TV, in front of the scenes, behind the scenes, I'm a graduate program, Damien's a graduate program. All of our camera people that you see out there, our technicians, Tracy, our reporter, they're all college students. They're all college students, and they're getting their education to learn to be a, a broadcaster so they can be a professional and, and one day move along. I know on a personal note, I, I work for the Big East Network, and when I get to see graduates of mine working alongside me, that's a cool thing. So if you know anybody that wants to do it, by all means, let us know. We're always enrolling. January is nice classes. Um, a quick thing for our sponsors as well. Uh, Mizuno, aren't these jerseys great? 11 o'clock last night, I get a call. You got jerseys, okay, great. So we want to thank Mizuno. All the girls got fed today on behalf of the Firehouse Subs and Jersey Mike's. Uh, greater than, I don't know where their other banners back there, the official drink of the game. Uh, and don't forget, I know I had a lot of parents. When's the raffle? We're going to do it after the first set. Don't worry, we want to get these players going. Um, but mostly want to thank you, the family, for being a part of this today. You know, a lot of you drove, you know, who, anybody over three hours drive? Three hours drive? There we go, that's three hours. Any four? So four hours. Five. Five? Any five? Chad probably took five, he got lost. Um, <laughs> we got a um, Also want to thank the Illinois High School Volleyball Coaches Association. All those plaques that your uh, daughters, friends, sisters receive for a donation for the Coaches Association. It's always great having their support because, again, this is something that, as you saw at the showcase beforehand, you know, that's something that those players are getting a chance. They're getting a chance to play at the next level. And then you have the, you know, the top 30 right here in the state of Illinois all across the board. I mean, the first year we did this game, and I'll wrap up after this more, but the first year we did this game, you know, I had, I had certain coaches you know, send me nice emails like, oh, nice to meet you. What? An all-star game? That doesn't exist. And now I have coaches and parents, you know, sending me emails like last night, like, oh, why is my daughter in it? So I take that as a compliment because we have a selection committee. Players are selected by this committee for nominations of coaches at the high school club level and writers and journalists and broadcasters from all throughout the state. As Chad can tell you, about three weeks ago, I'm down calling the Breeze Man A game because I want to see my own high school best of the best out. They're on this court tonight. So I thank you for being here. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the match. Um, and then, like I said, for the first set, we'll, we'll give you away the prizes. Don't worry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into this evening's 2014 All-Star Game presented by the Illinois Center for Broadcasting and SportstownChicago.com. Now we are here at Wheaton College here in Wheaton, Illinois for the fifth annual SportstownChicago.com High School Volleyball All-Star Game presented by the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. We are glad you're with us here on SportstownChicago.com. I'm Ryan Fay with you on the broadcast. I was with you for the showcase as well, and now I'd like to bring in my broadcast colleague for tonight's matchup, the man who is behind the idea, and it's evolved into its fifth year. Our program director, Dr. Pete Ferrer. Pete, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, it's a fifth year, it's crazy. You know, you told me you are gonna get me a cake. I'll just expect that on Monday, that's fine. But no, it's great <laughs> every year. Every year this happens. It's just unbelievable that it's here and it's growing, and uh, you know, there's, uh, it's just great that, that they're here. You know, I love hearing the PA announcer. I love hearing, seeing all the people in the crowd. I love seeing the officials and, uh, it, it, it's real and it, it's it's pretty quiet out there right now. But I tell you, it's going to get loud when you have the best 
of the best doing what they do. Yep, and then, and then they kind of went for the showcase game as well uh, earlier on today as oh, well. Oh, man, there was some – Ryan, I hadn't seen some of the players, you know, because we get so many nominations, you don't get a chance to see everybody. But, wow, there were some heavy hitters there. There, there, was there were some heavy beat. hitters. And it was a very fast-paced game as well we saw in that showcase. We look to hope to see that as well here in the uh, 2014 SportstownChicago.com All-Star Game. It is our fifth annual All-Star Game. And as I mentioned, I will – Try to get maybe – I'll get you a cupcake. Is that good enough for you or, or anything like that? You want ice cream? I'm not cream? a big cupcake fan. You're not a cupcake we'll, guy? We'll, so? we'll, do, we'll do ice cream later on. You want you know, I'm like trying to watch my figure here. I, I you know, <laughs> TV adds okay. a few pounds. That's true. Man, that's that must, true. That must have been a few more from last year. <laughs> but, uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. No, I'm, right. just, I'm just glad we're here. Uh, you know, we got two great teams uh, about to square off. I, I, you know, I have some players I'm really excited to see play at this level. One, of course, that we had mentioned in a pregame report, but Amon McGarry, uh, outside hitter, uh, she's going to be uh, coached by Coach Rockers. I'm excited to see her at this level because you see her, she's one of the players that plays at a smaller school. So so you're playing a 1A or 2A school. She's teammates and going against some of the best 4A in the state. Yeah, and, you know, we talk about all the talent that is out here today. And for those who don't know, the Austin game, uh, all players out on this floor and uh, sitting on the bench right now who we'll get to eventually see later on tonight have committed to universities already to continue and have their own respective collegiate careers. So we want to congratulate all of them in that aspect of it. And uh, it's great to see a, a great turnout uh, year in and year out for this event. Absolutely. And then to note also another one that uh, uh, – Talk to a bit about pregame. Lauren Anderson, outside hitter. You know, part of a high school program that year in and year out is competing at that state level, uh, the championship level for one and two A. And again, red headband and all is out here, and I mean they're <laughs> ready to rock and roll. And you know, can't thank Mizuno enough. Still, we we talk about them uh, for this awesome donation. I mean, the all four teams outfitted today, all four teams by Mizuno. The, vol the official volleyball of the game by Baden. I mean, you can't play volleyball without jerseys yep. and, and volleyball. So here we go. Best of five sets. Team White going left to right. It'll be Team Pink right to left. We'll get to the setup of it in just a second. And it's Lauren Anderson with the quick tilt over there for Team Pink to settle it down. Team White gets it back over off the recovery. Settle down now far side, front of the net, the 10-foot line. Crossover kill attempt not good over the net. So that's a quick point for Team White, one nothing. That's one thing we don't have uh, line judges here, so it's gonna uh, once in a while. Uh, we got uh, we got our guys here. We're, yeah. We Lauren got Anderson's got the headband on. We're okay though. <laughs> you want we're, we're fine. You're we're trying fine. to make sure she heard that too, didn't you? Uh, maybe. Uh, All right. <laughs> Moving over now, it's a white team white serve now left to right all over. Team Pink now plays at the front of the net towards the back line. It goes. Team White now settles it down far side front of the net. Over the double block and down. Getting the kill there for Team White. Amon McGarry, who talked about her before we got started. She was dominant down in those state finals down she, at Illinois she State. She was dominant down there. And, you know, you, we don't get a chance to call every high school. I wish we did, uh, but we probably wouldn't sleep or eat. And uh, <laughs> that might be bad. But, you know, she was one I was excited to see. Ryan the jail there on the quick tap over there. And the Mother McCauley Notre Dame recruit. Gets the kill there, and it's now a 2-1 score still in favor of Team White. Kelsey Wazinski there, uh, not able to get underneath it. Anderson to serve. Anderson on that jump serve now right to left over towards the 10-foot line. Far side now front of that tap over there. And a dig attempt there picked up by Team Pink. Towards the back line, it's Lauren Anderson to get it back over. Team White plays now front side far of the net. That was Rachel Farah on that one. Lauren Anderson now sets up to the near side. Ryan DeGerald, does it stay in? No, it does not. Just tiptoes to that near corner out of bounds. And it's 3-1, Team White. I like the dynamic between the two teams, though, because, you know, I was talking to some of the coaches beforehand, and a lot of them never played with each other. Not, not, a, lot of, a lot of them have never met each other. You know, Rachel Fair, who's back to serve right now, I talked. I saw her talking to some of the players beforehand, and uh, she even, you know, she's, like, introducing herself to her teammates. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a fun story. And the serve there from Team White goes into the net there. That's a service error, and it's a Team Pink point, and it's 3-2. Rachel Farah, part of that, as you mentioned, uh, part of the 4A champions, Bennett Academy Red Wings, who had that amazing super sectional that you and I got to mm -hmm, see mm -hmm. against Mother McCauley, too. On the serve there from Team Pink, it'll be a service ace as getting that one for Team Pink is number four, Alexis Coleman from Joliet West High School, attending Southern Indiana University when she is done with high school. So once again, it's Coleman. Uh, the jump serve right to left. That one goes into her own net. That's a service error. Point Team White. Yeah, a lot of service errors on the uh, early go, but you got to imagine there's some nerves. I mean, yes, it's a, uh, you know, it's a uh, exhibition game. You want to win though, and you yes. want to look good <laughs> in front of your future competition at the NCAA level. Team Pink now sets it up to the front of that double block, answered by Team Pink. 
That was Farah and Jowden on that one, and it's 5-3, Team White. So in it now is Mary Boken, who, go, who is going to Clemson. And is currently attending St. Francis High School. Playing on near side for Team Big Front of that Rory to Gerald. Once again, the Notre Dame recruit gets the kill, and it's 5-4. Yeah, you look at it, and you know maybe there isn't the height necessary on the court right now for Team Pink. But, uh, yeah, they can hit the ball just as hard. <laughs> Serving it now for Team Pink is Manny McCarty. Jump serve now right to left over to the near side. Misplay there. It's a service ace. And we're tied up at five. Yeah, good effort there. Got a, got a, got a shoe tying that needs to happen. Uh, good effort to get to it. But, again, you're, you got to understand that it's uh, – when you're playing with players you haven't played before, you know, the communication is sometimes the issue. Who's going to go for it, who's not? So by the second, especially that third set and onward, oh, you're going to see a lot more. Off that serve there from Team Pink. It was a white response and back to Pink, and it's a double, or it's going to be a lift call, I apologize. It's a point for Team White, and they have the lead back at 6-5 here in set number one. Yeah, uh, two note for those of you viewing from home, uh, some of the players for Team Pink switched numbers. So, uh, you know, just uh, pay attention to the names, you'll be fine. Rachel Farah on the serve there from Team White, left to right. Playing out of the far side to the 10 foot line, kept in play by Team White to the near side. Far side now, front of that for Team White, and. Oh, good stab. Good play there from Team Pink to keep that alive. Over the double block, Farah with the dig. Set up now, near side for Team White behind the 10 foot line. They get it over too far behind the back line of Team Pink, out of bounds. On that attempt there, it was number five, Mary Boken, on that one. Yeah, it's fun to see, too. I mean, some of these players going against each other, like you mentioned, you know, you got the Gerald versus Farah. One more time. One more time. <laughs> yes, the rematch, if you will. Quick tap over there from Team Pink. Or Team White, I should say. Back to Team Pink. It's Lauren Anderson on the cross. Quick kill time. Settle down by Team White. Dig there at the back line by DeGerald. Play set up front of the net. Now off the double block, and down it goes to the Team Pink side. It's the White double block that keeps it down, and it's 7-6, Team White. Uh, substitution come back into the game is McGarry. Uh, yeah, I think I think teams are playing a little reserved right now, and I, I think they're going to probably turn up the turn it up pretty soon. Turn down for what? Right, Ooh. Lauren Anderson on the kill attempt there. Settled down by Team White near side front of that. They get it over Ryan DeGerald with the dig. Far side now back to the near side ten foot line play tap over there dig towards the back line for Team White. They set it up now coming in from the ten foot line is Carly Nolan and she'll get the kill for Team White and it's eight six. Closer than uh, some may have expected. You know, you're talking to some fans earlier. Uh, we had the preceding senior showcase, which was great. You know, the top, some of the top girls in the state of Illinois uh, participating uh, to showcase their skills for college scouts, not only here uh, in attendance, but some at home. Uh, but uh, another uh, tape error. Uh, but some of those games weren't that close. You know, you're trying to rotate things, uh, work one at work against each other. But, but right now, oh, 8-7, no better way to start. I, I can agree with you 100% on that one. Served there from Team Pink now right to left over to the 10-foot line of Team White. Playing out far side, front of the net. It's uh, McGarry on that one. Double block, went out of bounds, so McGarry will get the credit for that one, and it's 9-7. Yeah, to note, too, McGarry's wearing the uh, the uh, bump guards, uh, something that uh, not a lot of players you, you see wear, but uh, always, always a fan, always a fan of the bump guards. Quick play there from Team Pink to try to tap it over. Team White settles it down. Nolan gets it back over from the 10-foot line. Team Pink now settles it down near side, front of the net. It's Lauren Anderson. Does it stay in? Yes, it does. Just barely it stayed in, and it's 9-8. Coach Rocker's all smiles on that one. Is that was a close call? <laughs> I've, I've I've never seen a uh, I've never seen a coach with more warnings in a in a high school career than him. But uh, and now so. serving it now for Team Pink is number nine Sammy Knight, and we get a whistle and a hold up. I believe we're going to redo that one. <laughs> R1 did not give the okay, so uh, we got to wait for everybody to give approval that we can get going. Here we go now. Sammy Knight on the right to left serve and the line drive serve over to Team White. Far side, front of the net. It's McGarry. Oh, look out. Bring in the thunder. And you get it? We're on the court of the thunder. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I, I, I heard one faint <laughs> laugh in the background. <laughs> Team White service. Somebody at home laughed, I'm sure. Uh, but we couldn't hear it, though. Lauren Anderson, far side, and she'll get credit for the kill there. And it's 10-9 now, still in favor of Team White. I mean, I think our viewers, are, um, I think they had a good chuckle about that. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Lauren Anderson to serve now for Team Pink. Jump serve right to left over. The dig response goes back over, and a quick slam dunk from Ryan DeGerald to the Team White side, and we're tied up at 10. You know, it's crazy, Ryan. We've called enough Mother Macaulay volleyball. Uh, yes. I, an unhealthy amount. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but but we've seen her throughout the years. And just once you think they peak, 
They don't. Then they just get even better. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable with some of these players. Lauren Anderson on the service error there. We have a substitution now for Team White as Crystal Lee from Thornton Fractional South checks into the game now to serve for Team White. They have the one-point lead, 11-10 here in set number one. This is the fifth annual SportsCenterChicago.com Volleyball All-Star Game. Left to right serve there from Lee. Over from Team Pink, and it stayed up in play, but not enough for Team White to corral it in. And we are tied up at 11. Snake Eyes Wad, it's 1-1 one, one, to 1-1 one, one in set number one. I know Say our guy Steve Self no, is I'm happy about that. <laughs> Seven and now for Team Pink is Alexis Coleman. Right to left serve goes over. Team White now plays to the far side, front of the net there. Carly Nolan gets the kill, and it's 12-11 Team White. As we have one substitution now for Team Pink as Bree Coffey. Interesting story about her. We heard we were under yeah. the impression that she canceled a family vacation she to did. be here today. Was going to go to Florida, called up, said, nope, I got selected to be an all-star. Didn't go. That's dedication right there at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Off that serve there. It's a good recovery at the back line there. By It was, I believe, number 15, Crystal Lee at the back line, but it was not enough. That went out, out of bounds, and we were tied up at 12. You know what I like, too, is and one of these days I'm going to sit down with one of the past coaches of the game to you know, get insight, but... You know, it's got to be a challenge though to coach these players because you know they're so good. They're going to be, they're, they're going to be able to at least have an attempt on some of these hits that their normal team wouldn't. Service error there recently off Team Pink, so it's 13 to 12. Team White now. Rachel Farah to serve now. Running serve left to right over the far side of Team Pink. They play it now at the 10 foot line near side play. Ryan DeGerald over the double block dig there by Lee. Playing out far side and a whiff on that one by Team White and Lexi Varga from Rockford Boylan High School. And so we are tied up at 13. Ryan DeGerald from Mother Macaulay High School and the Notre Dame recruit is going to serve now for Team Pink. Right till a power serve goes over to Team White's far side, front of the net, and it's staying. No, I believe they're going to say. Yeah, she hit the net. Uh, she did, okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, th I think the, uh, I think the antenna, blocked. yeah, I think the antenna got up between the eyes, so. <laughs> Ryan DeGerald to serve once again as Team Pink is the 14-13 lead. Right to left, serve to Team White. Now far side, front of the net. Tapped over there to Gerald to keep it alive. They we get a whistle. It. And they will say it's going to be a over the net call there. So it's 15-13. Team Pink with the two-point lead right now. And serving it now once again will be Ryan DeGerald for Team Pink. They have the two-point lead here in this first set. Here on SportstownChicago.com, I'm Ryan Faye, Pete Pereira with you on the broadcast. Right to left serve there from DeGerald. Ooh! Uh-oh. You know when Pete yells about that stuff, it's great. And a power down authority kill makes it 16-13, Team Pink. Timeout called by Team White. They want to talk things over. We will take the timeout with them. It's 16-13 here in set number one here on SportstownChicago.com. It's 16-13 in favor of Team Pink here in this first set in the fifth annual SportstownChicago.com Illinois High School Girls Volleyball All-Star Game. Ryan Fahey, Dr. Pete Ferre with you here on the broadcast. Ryan DeGerald to serve once again for Team Pink right to left over. They play it now. Team White near side, front of the net there. Dig by Ryan DeGerald at the back line. Team Pink now sets up near side. Lauren Anderson on that one. Nice dig there to the far side by Kelsey Wasinski and a response there. Nice dig there by Team Pink again by Bree Coffey. Back and forth rally we have. White gets it back over, back to DeGerald. Near side, Lauren Anderson again over the double block and down. Good effort by Team Pink, but it was the double block of Kaylin Hag and number 10, Ellie Seneca on the double block there. 16-14, Team White's deficit cut to two as Amon McGarry checks in. So now serving it now for Team White is Lexi Varga. Running serve left to right over to Team Pink to the near side and the behind the head tap over that's cross what court. You, that's what you're going to see at games like this. That's what you're going to see. And it worked off to perfection there. Styling and profiling, Fahey. I'm sure that's a wrestling reference that I don't it understand. Is, it okay. is. It right. is. It is. So right. at least you knew it was wrestling. All right. So I, had, I had a feeling. I don't hate you that much now. All right. You're, you're just 50% hate. That's a good start. Lord Anderson with a nice dig there. Nicely done by Carly Nolan. Get back over there. Nolan with the dig towards the back line again. Team White sets it up near side. Front of the net. Over the double block. And it's Lauren Anderson to get it back over. Team White settles it down. Tap over their play. Kept alive by Team Pink. Now to the near side. Lauren Anderson again off the double block and out of bounds. And the point will go to Team Pink. And they increase the lead up to 4, 18, 14. Yeah, some substitutions in the game right now. So good to see some players uh, switching it up a bit. I mean, you know, you always hear from... The co something I have talked with the coaches about is 
you know, first set is fun, second set okay, and, and then they want to win. <laughs> <laughs> it gets really competitive at that point. Lauren Anderson over the double block, kept alive by McGarry. What a point will go to Team Pink, as they're going to call a lift on that one. 19-14 now the score. Yeah, that, that was a close one there uh, by Seneca, but either way, good call. Once again, here comes the serve now from Bree Coffey. Playing now for Team White, far side front of that. McGarry off the double block, back to Team White. Now to the near side, it goes for Team White over that double block, settled down towards the far corner. Lauren Anderson now sets it up for Team Pink, and it does not deflect. It goes out of bounds, 19-15, Team White back within four. Yeah, it's good to see that switch. It's good to see that both teams are, uh, you know, keeping within it so far. I mean, it, it was close, it was far, it was close, it was far. Lizzie Zaleski into the game now for Team White, as serving in for Team White, number 13, Kaylin Hogg, left to right serve, goes over to Team Pink, play now far side, front of it there. Good dig attempt that goes back over to Team Pink off it. Now play near side, Lauren Anderson over the double block. Actually hit off that double block, Ryan oh. DeGerald. <laughs> Ryan DeGerald tried to sneak in for that one. She kind of knew it the second she hit it that it wasn't going yeah. anywhere though. No, no set for you, I hit alone. <laughs> Even the players are hearing your commentary too, Pete, and having a nice laugh oh, about as well. Just wait till I take over play by play. Uh oh. 19-16 the score in favor of Team Pink. They set it up now near side, Lauren Anderson with a quick tap over, stays within the back line, and it's 20-16, to 16, Team Pink. Yeah, once I get the right numbers on this roster, uh, no, it's fine, some of the players for Team Pink uh, switched jersey numbers, so uh, once we once we get that straight, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Serving it now for Team Pink is number nine, Sammy Knight from Zamberg High School. Right to left serve, goes over towards the back line of Team White. They set up at the 10th line to get it over. Lauren Anderson on the dig, Sammy Knight now, and Probably the point will go to Team White as a double hit call will go against Team Pink, and it's 20 to 17. Yeah, I, I, one thing I like about these officials, yes, it's an exhibition. They're still calling it like a real game, though. That's cool. They, they, they want these players to get ready for what's going to be coming their way at the collegiate level, and that is, you know, uh, right now one of the officials, as you may know, Ryan, the the, the R2 uh, is uh, has uh, official for the Big East before, so. You know, he's calling it like he's going to see it there. And like these players are going to expect, oh, good self-preservation. Kept alive by Team White, far side, front of the net. It's McGarry. Does it stay in play? It does. The double block answered nicely by Team Pink, 22-17. What, what you notice, too, a bit is with some of these players, uh, they're, they're trying to find what position they like the best, what, what uh, you know, because they come in, oh, setter, outside, middle, but with what rotation? You know, they, they, they did have practices beforehand, so, you know, glad we added that on <laughs> since the first year uh, that the game existed for the, the history lesson. Uh, but uh, th there's still only so much you can find out within that given time. Now, seven and a half, Team White, Crystal Lee, left to right serve towards Team Pink, far side, front of that, off the double block, does it stay in? Yes, it does. It was Rachel Farah and number 11, Lexi Varga, on that double block, 22-19. Team White back within three. Seven in for now for Team White. Number 15, Chris Lee. Left to right, does that stay in? No, it does not. Goes to the near side, out of bounds, 23-19. I think eight. it hit our camera four. I, I, it might, uh -oh. I don't know. I think we're okay, though. Well, there's nobody over there now, so I don't think we did it lose somebody off that hit. We don't know. Seven in now for Team Pink is number four, Alexis Coleman. Set up now, and Rachel Ferrer mistimed her jump on that one, and it's set point 14 pink, 24-19. Best of five sets in the All-Star game. For those keeping score at home, we are playing it like college rules, yep. so unlike high school rules, what's best of three, we are playing best of five. Once again, 14 pink, Alexis Coleman to serve for the set. Right to left, goes over, that's a service ace, and that will do it for set number one, as the first set is taken by Team Pink by a score of 25 to 19. We'll take a short break as both of these teams will switch sets, and we'll come right back in just a couple of minutes. You're listening to the 2014 5th Annual Girls Volleyball All-Star Game here on SportstownChicago.com. <laughs> 